Look down and see from your habitation, holy and glorious. Where are the manifestations of your zeal and your strength, the yearning of your heart and your mercies toward me? You, O oh Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, from everlasting is your name. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down and manifest your power, that the mountains and obstacles might shake at your presence, as fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil, to make your name known, your adversaries, sin, sickness, Satan, that the nations may tremble at your presence when you did awesome things for which we did not look or expect. Since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor has the eye seen any God besides you who acts for the one who waits for him. You meet him who rejoices and does righteousness, who remembers you in your ways. Lord, I call on you now as we pray for our children, our teens and our young adults. Father God, look down and see from your habitation, holy and glorious. See how the twisted ways of Satan are finding a new way to pervert what he's already done, Father God. Boys and girls who don't even know that they're boys and girls, Father God. I pray that you would manifest yourselves in the hearts of those around those young men and women who are so confused, Father God. I pray that your mercies would open up toward them that the yearning of your heart would be their heart, Father God. That they would not hear the words of the enemy drawing their flesh to what they hear others around them saying. How is it that they do not know that you created them, Lord? That you set apart their days in your book? Lord, these words that they've come up with, I, I don't even know what they mean, Father God. And all I know is that they just must be so confused and sad and that they're so far from you, Father God. So I call upon the advocate, Father God. I pray that you would send the Holy Spirit to minister to them, that, that he would make your name known to them, that you would send the workers, that you would pick certain people to go and be with them and talk with them and pray to them, Lord. And God, I pray that you would give us all around them a heart of compassion, a heart of understanding, a loving heart, Father God. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to say. We don't know how to act. We don't want to hurt or offend or make things worse, Father God. I just pray that you would place a hedge of protection around all these towns around us, Father God, that the, the boys and girls and young adults that are walking around, roaming the streets, lost and confused, that they would find their identity in you, Father God that they would rise up out of their own mess and mire, Lord, that you would pull them from the pit, Father God. Lord Jesus, we need you now more than ever, Father God. I pray for our children, Lord, they need you. Lord, you gave them purpose right from the beginning. And Jesus, I pray, I pray that they would hear your sweet, sweet words calling to them, Lord God. <laughs> 